week, last week an eighth grader from Dallas, Texas won the National Spelling Bee by spelling the word Poco Curanti. We were so inspired by this, tonight we're having our own spelling bee. I've asked Keith Robinson, Rich Voss, and Jim Norton to put their own eighth grade educations to the test. These dummies <laughs> will be spelling words that I give them. It's all real. They haven't seen any of the words ahead of time. Gentlemen, you'll have 30 seconds to spell your word. You may ask for the word in a sentence. Good luck. Let's start with Keith Robinson. Keith, your word uh, is presumptuous. Presumptuous. Okay, Colin, can you uh, say that in a sentence? Please? Sure. It was presumptuous for you to question my choice of a joke in this clip. <laughs> Here's the point. Here's what the is the point? They're all, I used to live in, when I was in Bay Ridge, we lived right near a bar, and uh, people would, come, you know, every night it was the same thing. Drinking, fighting, cursing, screaming, urinating, and their vandalism. Finally, they told me, you can't come in anymore. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Hey, Bob Hope, that was great. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I guess you haven't been around comedy lately. Apparently, it's uncool if you put a punchline at the end of the show. <laughs> It was presumptuous of you to question me when everybody here knows your act is a terrible collection of observations you found in the garbage behind Sinbad's house. <laughs> presumptuous. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> presumptuous. <sighs> <laughs> It works. It works. P. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you this is my essay. Hey, it's too late. Hey. <laughs> Look, All right, next up is Rich Voss. Mr. Voss, your word is oxymoron or oxymoronic. Yes, it's a real word. Can uh, you please use that in a sentence, Mr. Quinn? Yes, of course. Judaic law dictates that you cannot be buried as a proper Jew if you have a tattoo. So it would be oxymoronic to get a tattoo to show your Jewish pride. It would be oxymoronic and incredibly stupid and it, every word was moronic it would probably be. Show us your tattoo, Mr. Boss, please. <laughs> <laughs> Now, please spell the, spell the word. Show us you're not totally worthless. Oxymoron. O-X-I-M-O-R-O-N. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> All right. I spelled yes, it right. Yes, I spelled it right, too. All right. <laughs> Finally, Jim Norton, please come up here. Now, James, your word is blasphemy, James. What? Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> oh, you're going to ask me that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Gladly. <laughs> All right, wait. Can you Don't read try the to monitor? Shut up. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll use it in a sentence, please. It bordered on blasphemy that night when you shamelessly hit on Linda, the waitress at the comedy cellar, by pretending to agree that the Academy Awards are racist. The blasphemy came from your disgusting fake compassion at the plight of black people. When we both know full well, you couldn't give a damn. You just wanted to get into her pants. Now, I know this is a hard word, so I put together a little reenactment. I've asked someone to come help me. Linda, please, one second. <laughs> That's Linda, she'll play herself. I'll be playing the part of Jim Norton. <laughs> I was there when this happened, so it's not that <laughs> So, yeah, I totally agree with you about the Oscars. It's, uh, it's really time Angela Bassett got a little respect in, in racist Hollywood. You really care about this, don't you? Of course I do. I mean, what Hollywood does to our talented black, uh, black actors today, it's almost blasphemy. <laughs> now spell it, stupid. <laughs> B-L-A-S-P-H-E-M-Y. <laughs> blasphemy. <laughs> that's, that's very good. I don't know if that uh, makes up for the fact that... Uh, you actually took the pain and tragedy of 300 years of slavery and used it to try to get laid. <laughs> Look at how hot she is. She is hot. That doesn't excuse your awful lack of character. <laughs> Can I sit down now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Did you spell it right? Of course I did, stupid. <laughs> I don't even know if you spell it right. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> the fact that this awful spelling bee, that they're actually proud that they got those dumb words right. <laughs> Well, they keep the shame to even try his stupid words. What didn't get oxymoron, right? Yeah. O-X-I? That was wrong. <laughs> You're as stupid as he is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he 
I said why. First of all, no, he's not as stupid as I am. No, it's Alex, true. I. What is it? Yo, why? Why, you funny? Oh, we'll be right back with this. 